Hello everyone, Supercraft here, and welcome to Super Mario Odyssey! This is actually the second time I've recorded this because the first time didn't go so well. Like, uh, microphone audio didn't get picked up. So we're going for it again? <laughs> well, let's start! In the skies above Peach's Castle. Well, that's something. <sighs> so this is normally how Mario games end. Oh, speaking of which, this is the end for you! I'm not quite sure that's a good, uh, fat bastard voice to talk about. And Mario, yeah, whatever, Peach. Mario apparently has yet to learn how hats work. <laughs> Time for my wedding with Peach, jealous Mario. <laughs> And off flies the Mario Cap. Oh. Hmm. Huh. All right. So let's just get one thing straight. This is not kind of my first. Impressions of the game. I've actually already played through the entire game on a different save file. Uh. I just figured it would be nice to uh, make a nice little video on this game that I've played and particularly enjoy. Okay, here we go. So, as such, A, I'm already going to be probably pretty good at the game. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, B. Uh, obviously, this is not going to be first impressions. I already know ever, or probably know everything that we're going to see. Who knows? Maybe we'll stumble upon a moon that I haven't seen before. Ah, <laughs> uh, here's a nice little. So oh, sorry for running away like that. You startled me, and I, I do startle easily. Uh, I saw what happened earlier. You've been through quite the ringer. You've landed in the Cap Kingdom. We've been under attack by the same monster that gave you such a drowsing. I love the little images they use whenever they're using like pronouns or just non-specific nouns. And to make matters worse, the fiend that has, has Cap kidnapped my little sister. <laughs> oh. I'd hope to give chase to that monster in my, a ship of my own. Unfortunately, all of our airships were wrecked in the attack. Although, now that I think on it, uh, I'm fairly certain there's a functioning ship in the next kingdom over. Uh, I could get us there if only I could reach the top of that, of Top Hat Tower, which is being guarded by the monster's henchmen. You know, it seems we're after the same thing. Perhaps we should team up. Let's see if we can't help those two. No, I have no hat. Hmm. Not your style. How about this? Cappy is now your companion. All right. Yes. Yeah, throw, whatever. Cool. Also, we're kind of going to be doing some sort of, like, pseudo speedrun type thing. Just trying, because I'm... I'm only going to guarantee one episode of this. If there's demand, then, uh, we'll certainly do more, but... Uh, I'm only going to guarantee that we'll do one. Although I doubt there will be demand, considering how we're like several months late, I think. But anyways, yeah. 
So as such, we're just going to try to kind of see as much of the game as we can in our short time period here. And that is what the mind of a frog looks like. Ah, you captured a frog. All right, yeah. So we'll see if we can't get through a couple kingdoms in this video. So yeah, we're basically going to be doing kind of a bit of like a uh, minimal completion run here. Which is not how I would recommend uh, playing the game. Not sure I'd recommend a 100% completion run either. I'd probably more so just recommend a... Uh, explore freely and get what you get sort of run. Uh, but hey. With the minimalist run, we can uh, hopefully get through a couple worlds in one episode. Or at least that's the idea. Hehehe, <laughs> 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 the boss warned me there'd be a fellow wide. A fellow wide uh, with a mustache coming along. Guess we ought to introduce ourselves. We're the wedding planners for the happy couple. They call us the Brutals. We got that treasure we needed, so we ain't got no more business in these parts. Of course, roughing up goody two-shoes meddlers was in the contract, so I guess we still got a little work to do. Alright, best of luck to you then. So, you know, standard knock off the hats and then jump. This game is about hats, just so you know. Like, uh, hats... Protect you, hats, a lot, throwing hats gives uh, to get powers. There we go. This is a game about hats. So the more hats you have, the kind of better you are in this world. And here we go. We're electric boogie woogie woogie, and let's go. Super Mario Odyssey. Or, uh, Super Mario Odyssey! Woohoo! That's better, probably. <sighs> Cascade Kingdom, Fossil Falls. This world is uh, vis quite uh, visually nice looking. Man, poor Mario. It's no luck in this game. Our first power moon. Yeah. Ooh, yeah! What a ride! And, uh, we made it to the Cascade Kingdom. <laughs> Sorry, still a bit, uh, I amped up from capturing a power line. I must collect myself. Uh, there should be an old airship somewhere around here. Uh, let's see if we can find it. Yes, let's. Oh, ooh, that's not how you do that. The uh, dive is a pretty good maneuver to learn. Also, we captured a chomp here, so now we can uh, break through stuff. Oh, Now we can uh, launch ourselves and break stuff. Woohoo! Oh, oh, best get that. Oh. We got the moon! Wahoo! Alright. And now we can continue onwards. 
multi moon atop the falls. Oh, we found oh we found a power moon. Uh, what lu what a lucky break! This will come in handy to power the airship. Have you seen it? Have you ever seen anything like it? Well, actually, it does remind you quite a bit of all the stars I've collected in my previous adventures, but, uh, whatever. Alright, oh, mm -hmm. Ah, there it is! This is what we were looking for. It's looking a bit more rough than I'd expected. Ah, no, it's just an older mod. I'm certain it could, I can still, oh, it can still fly. Uh, let's give it a shot, shall we? Just throw me on that globe. Well, I already know for certain we need five, so, uh, let's not. Instead, we'll start uh, side flip, wall jump, hot throw diving. The best way to get around absolutely anywhere in this game. Oh, so here's that dinosaur that's in the trailers and whatnot. So let's do this destroy all the things. Yes, the dinosaur can destroy these things, by the way. And those little annoying things. And even that chain chomp. And there we go. Oh, by the way, here are some uh, purple coins. I think here they're wheels, but uh, they're, they vary from world to world. And this is, of course, the 2D sections. Woo! Oh. Oh well. Okay, that worked out fairly well. Oh, uh, we're still in need of a moon, so actually we'll, uh... We'll grab a moon here. <coughs> Secret moon! Behind the waterfall. Yahoo! And here we have another checkpoint. Yahoo! And some more chomps that we could use to break this thing, or we could. Su it flip wall jump hat throw dive. The best way to get anywhere. What's this? You say you need to repair some silly old airship? <laughs> Why, I could never part with any of my precious power moons. It sounds to me like someone wants to be a snack for my adorable chain chompkins. <laughs> Alright, so this uh, chain chompkins has a hat, so we need to take off that. Oh. We need to take off the hat before we do anything. I'm still not the best at actually throwing my hat at things I want to throw it at. You can do that. That's a thing. There we go. Oh, oh, don't you get me. Thank you. Alright, Chain Jumpkins, thank you. So this is our first kind of proper boss fight, I guess. I know the first, the tutorial one was pretty easy. And we won. <coughs> Got our moons. And there you go. We got the multi moon. Woohoo! My Mario impression probably isn't the best, is it? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you've done it, and now we're we've got a multi moon. 
It's as strong as three power moons combined. It should get the ship moving in no time. Let's see if we can't make this work. Throw me on the globe. And yeah, those moons are like everywhere. And this world alone has like over 20. <laughs> and there are some with like 60 in them. So like, there, there are tons of moons in this game. All sorts of stuff to find. I mean, in my, in my main game, I've got like 200-ish. A bit more. The Odyssey is restored. Great. Alright, now we can go to the Sand Kingdom. Yahoo! Let's go! Of course, you can't really hard going to this to be able to show the massive quality of moons in this video. Because again, we're kind of rushing through the game a bit. Again, not the way I recommend experiencing the game. But, you know, it's a way to play the game. And, uh, works for making videos. <sighs> All right, here we are on the loading screen. It's an interesting looking loading screen at least. So, how do you like me as a captain's hat? Pretty classy, wouldn't you say? Now then, oh, where were we? Oh, that monster's name is Bowser. <laughs> well, we'll chase him down in no time in the Odyssey. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, uh, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip, ground pound, whatever, we know how to ground pound. I've played Super Mario Galaxy, we know this. And if you need some more review, there's an action guide. I'll be fine, thank you very much. It's always there, ha <laughs> We should discuss the Sand Kingdom too. As you've no doubt pieced together, it is entirely covered in sand, and as you can imagine, it gets quite hot. Hmm, there are some runes there, and an artifact called the Binding Band that links people forever, like a wedding ring. And this Bowser seems like just the sort of creep that would steal a priceless antiquity for his sham wedding. Most certainly is. Most certainly is. Alright, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get through the entire sad kingdom in our, like, ten minutes that we have left for this video, but we'll try. We'll just not talk to anyone. Except for the people we want to talk to. Can at least get to the highest tower, no doubt. Huzzah! I declare the maiden voyage of the Odyssey a complete success. But why is it so cold? I thought the deserts were supposed to be hot. Huh, the top of that tower is shining. But how could it be? Could it be a power moon? Perhaps. Alright, let's, let's go! We'll roll in to the Sand Kingdom. Hello! This is a cold, everything froze all of a sudden. I get it. Alright, cool. That's enough talking to people. Let's do this! To the highest tower. We don't have time for any nonsense like social interaction. Look, Bowser's footprints. Woohoo! Oh. See, I thought I would land on the Goomba. Apparently not. Ah, oh well. Now we'll just keep moving on. So we can, uh, of course, uh, take control of bullets. Uh, we will need to grab a couple, uh, moons from, uh, hidden places, so we'll get started on that. For example, there, I believe there's a moon in that, uh, little box there. Okay, if I can properly steer our bullets, there will be. 
There we go. <clears throat> Inside a block is a hard place. Good. Alright, there's also a moon over there. So we'll just uh, long jump to that and then half throw and then dive. On the leading pillar. It definitely was. Alright, and we'll actually uh, see. Maybe we can use this bolt to get back onto the main path. Perfect, okay. This thing allows us to uh, jump higher, but there's no need to when we can side flip. Well, well only just, just to side flip, okay. Alright. And, uh, look, another 2D section. Wahoo! It's a Mario. Okay. Great. Another moon right here. We need to go over there to get, but uh, whatever. It's not that far. We could just simply long jump and dive from a crate in the ruins. And the reason we're getting all of these side moons is we do actually need to collect a. Uh, certain number of side moons to get the uh to get enough moons to progress to the next area so we do need to collect some of these not all of them mind you but uh at least a few Alright, we're almost to the top of the tower. There we go. I got the moon! Top the highest tower. Alright. Moon shards in the sand. All right, let's go. Oh, oh yeah, we could have thrown our hats at that. We can throw our hat, hat at that thing. Hey, come on, there we go. We can, of course, get some nice purple coins. And even go this way a ways. And have some nice joy jumping over all of this nonsense. Or occasionally on to. Well, I'm bored. Alright, so these guys are pretty cool. If I can. There we go. They've got these nice sunglasses that you can put on, and then. Boom! Now you see where all of the hidden stuff is. But it's still there when you aren't wearing sunglasses. It's just uh, more obvious and pronounced when you are. For example, I think there's some stuff over here. Yeah, there is. Nice moon. Alright, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. Uh, there's a thing over here. Oh yeah, there's a moon right over there on that hill. For starters. Great. And uh, right here, we've got some nice... Why don't you look at those Bowser footprints? How wonderful. And we couldn't go up here. And, uh, yeah, I didn't check, but yeah, these are hidden walkways. 
that brings us right to another moon shard. And I believe there's one more. Yes, there it is, right over there. If there wasn't for that pause, if it wasn't for that pause there, I wouldn't have died. I don't think. Okay. Oh, uh, let's get this moon though. Like I was going to do like a side flip to avoid dying, but then didn't. All right, moon shards of the sand. Woohoo! And now we've opened up the inverted pyramid. Showdown on the inverted pyramid. Alright. Let's do it. This might be our last uh, mission that we'll be able to accomplish in this episode. But accomplish it we will. Because we must. Well, I mean, strictly speaking, we don't have to accomplish this specific mission in this specific episode. Oh, what's this? A moon. Yaha. Lost in the luggage. Great. There's even a sheep over that way, but the way. Sheep. With a sombrero. Super cute. Alright. Into the pyramid we go. Ready for some adventure. Probably. Alright, bullets, come at me. Alright. Do you even have some, a uh, nice little. Oh. A nice little gravity section that uh, reminds me a bit of Super Mario Galaxy. I think specifically more so Super Mario Galaxy 2 had more of these uh, 2D segments. Alright. And there we go. There we go. Uh, the time is short. And what's here? Oh, what do you know? I'm in. Secret of the inverted mural. Wonderful. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, now we've got a bullet here. Yeah. Which then transfers into a regular bullet. Fascinating. Great, okay, now we probably want to take control of a bullet. And uh, go with through uh, here. Because of course we do. And there you go. That's how you do it. Alright. Up we go. Alright, getting uh, hit by all the cacti. That's wonderful. Ah, here we are. With a nice little heart. Oops. Okay. That was almost kind of embarrassing. Oh, look! Time to face off against Bowser. Or a brutal. That works too. <sighs> looking for looking for the binding pan chumps. Too bad the boss has it now. And you guys ain't invited to the wedding. Alright, time for a brutal fight. I'm ready. It's a me, a Mario. Right, yes. Remember how this works? Get 
getting hit was admittedly not part of the plan there. Great. Hey, could you not? Really kind of annoying, honestly. Okay, there we go. Woohoo! All right, get the moon. Showdown on the inverted pyramid. All right. Yeah. So now the pyramid floats up and we got like a hole in the ground. Yes, yeah, so the hole in the desert. That brutal showed us down a bit, but we're still racking up power moons. How odd, the inverted pyramid is floating, and it's gotten so much colder. Is this more of that Bowser's doing? I say, he does make trouble, doesn't he? Alright. So we've got, uh, I think six more moons to go. Yeah, six more moons to go. Uh, I believe this mission here gives us three. Then we'd need to find three more elsewhere, which, trust me, that wouldn't be super difficult to do. But we are, this video is running a bit long, and it's about time that we end the episode. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see more Super Mario Odyssey, see more of this kind of pseudo speedrun playthrough, then uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If there's support, I will certainly do it. I enjoy playing this game, so it would be nice. But otherwise, uh, until next time, I've been Supercraft, and I'll catch you in some other video at some point in time. Goodbye.